here we have a tree and in our book we learned that trees have all different kinds of bark and leaves and one way you can document that is by doing a bark rubbing. To do that you simply need a piece of paper and some old crayons that you peel off the paper on. The trick to doing this is to hold the crayon between your thumb and your index finger sideways. We're going to put the paper right here on the tree and then you're going to push sideways and this will capture what the bark looks like. And every tree has a different kind of bark. And if you notice, do you see what's popping out here? Let me see if I can point them out in just a second. Do you see the holes that are showing up on the bark? That is represented from these holes. And that should get you wondering what, what animal would make those holes. And I bet a lot of you would say a woodpecker. But in actuality, it's a sapsucker, a red-breasted sapsucker, which is a small bird. And it does use its beak to peck a hole in here. They make the holes in these little circles in rows about the size of a pencil or your crayon. And they're getting the insects from inside the tree. Now, after you've done the bark rubbing, you can do the same thing with the leaf. So let's look on the ground and see if we can find a good leaf to do. Here's a little leaf off this tree. Leaves come in all shapes and sizes, and here we have a little leaf. It's turned yellow, but the veins are still green. You'll take the leaf and flip it vein side up. Whatever side has the most veins showing, and actually it feels like they're on this side more than this side. So I'm going to put this underneath the paper, lay this down, once again, hold your crayon sideways, and rub it along. And then you have a leaf rubbing. You can do that with all different kinds of leaves. Go ahead and try it with your leaves and the bark of your tree. Thanks. Yay.